All right. Welcome. My name is Tiffany Deloisi, and I want to welcome you to tonight's Stories of Hope. Um, I'm going to be your hostess with the mostest tonight, and we have an awesome lineup for you. We have Dr. Allison Caldwell that's going to talk to us tonight. We're going to hear some testimonials, and we're going to hear from our president and founder, Greg Halliday. And I don't know if you're anything like me, but I have felt a little scattered and unfocused myself, so I think I need this for myself tonight. So that's what we're going to talk about. So I would love it as, as you come in tonight, say hello in the chat box, let us know who invited you. Um, um, or if you're a soul specialist, and at the end, we are going to have a drawing. Okay, so we're going to kick things off with Denise Norbit, and she's going to share a testimony with us today. Maybe. There we go. Okay. Um, all righty. So I guess in my life, I don't know. Am I good? Can you hear me? Okay. All right. So um, I want to talk about um, my brain and the challenge. Oh, there I go. Okay. <laughs> um, the challenges that I've had. So I really struggled in school. I really didn't resonate with the classroom model of education. And um, my brain would just flip from thing to thing, especially if I was bored. So the turmoil in my brain, though, impacted more than just my learning It impacted my relationships. And I felt like I just was different and I didn't fit in anywhere. So when I discovered soul seven years ago, it was really a turning point in my life. <clears throat> uh, my program of soul adaptions gave me a tool that could calm the squirrel, ba squirrel brain and I could focus easier. And also I could have deeper and more meaningful conversations just because my brain didn't feel like a pinball machine. And, you know, if, you, if you've never experienced that or, or lived with anybody that has that, it's, um, it it's, might be kind of hard to understand. But um, I know that when my son came home for a visit about three months into my being on a soul program, he could tell the difference in me and in the way I related and he could see it in my eyes. So I am super grateful for all of the things that soul has done to change my life. And that's a lot. But I think the thing I'm most grateful for is that I finally have peace in my brain. And I do want to share like a secret weapon for um, if, if I need to focus on something in particular and I need to be ready for something, then I will drink a hot cinemate with Renew in it. And it is like that extra little boost of brain power for me. So um, that's it. Back to you, um, whoever takes it away. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I was just writing that down. Focus, hot, renew, and cinemate together to kind of help you get back on track. That's a good tip. Thanks for sharing that with us. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we are going to dive into talking about why we need adaptogens, adaptogens, I can talk today, daily. Um, I'm super excited because our very own Dr. Allison Caldwell Andrews is going to join us this evening and be sharing with us. She is our main formulator and um, a very smart cookie. So she has all sorts of knowledge and I love listening to her. Um, thank you for joining us tonight, Allison, and I'm going to let you take over. Now on unmute. Thank you. <laughs> it's great to be here with you. And I have to say, formulating is a kind of a group effort. I would not call myself the primary formulator. I wouldn't go that far. Um, but I do love to have uh, my input. That's fun. I listen to what Denise said. I just have to say a couple things before we talk about why you need adaptogens daily. Denise and I have bonded over a couple of things, and one of them is definitely Cinemate. Um, and I remember back when 
I very first tasted Cinemate. I was actually in the middle of a meeting with Greg and the other founders, and I had never tasted it before. And so I went and put some in my bottle and I shook it up and I could, I just sort of burst out and interrupted everyone. I'm like, this is so good. Anyway, so I interrupted them because also because I get impulsive sometimes. And this is in, in keeping with your theme, right? Of focus, attention, that sort of thing. So I I remember going to a, a professional meeting for psychologists where we talked about ADHD and I looked at the screen and for the first time I went, huh, well, that describes, mm, I can relate over hard to that. Um, so I definitely qualify at least for some of the symptoms um, enough so that I would leave my office having forgotten something at least once a week. I, my husband and the bank had this hilarious interaction. Like they had a bonding experience themselves, my husband and my bank, over the fact that I kept losing my ATM card, things like this. So I started drinking Cinemate. The thing is, at first, I thought it tasted so good that I couldn't have it every day because it was just really glorious. And I thought having something that delicious every day was probably sinful. So, and I mean, I'm not really serious, but I did kind of um, shy away from it because I don't know the way I was raised. Blame, let's, let's all blame our mothers, right? Okay, good. So what happened was um, I gave a webinar on Cinemate and, and it was a webinar about uh, motivating, using your brain to, to, for nourishment, not just, you know, telling it to go do stuff. So if you want to increase your motivation, how about some brain nutrition? And so using Cinemate as brain nutrition, now here's the homework, go drink Cinemate every day. So I will do homework because I, I think it's kind of um, silly for me to assign homework to people and then not be willing to do it myself. So I decided, okay, so I'm gonna try this too. I'm gonna drink Cinemate every day instead of saving it for special occasions, right? <laughs> Which is hilarious, um, again. So I drank it every day. In six weeks, I was, I'm telling you, I was a different person. My husband told me I could never not drink Cinemate again. I had to drink it every day. My kids were like, mom, you're so much nicer, which kind of annoyed me because I'm like, what do you mean I'm so much nicer? But honestly, one of the effects of stress is that you're irritable more. And one of the effects of forgetting everything all the time because you're having struggles being focused is that you're not as nice. And so with Cinemate, apparently my kids thought I was nicer, but I stopped forgetting stuff. I almost never, almost never have to go back and get anything. It's maybe once a year. It's amazing. I can keep a schedule like never before. I never could have done the kind of work that I'm doing now without adaptogens, without Cinemate. So adaptogens help us with stress. And the adaptogens in Cinemate, um, the, there's adaptogens that like, as you well know, in all of the soul products, all of those things have a helpful effect overall on stress. And so in order to be defined as an adaptogen, some people, there are a number of people with different opinions about what an adaptogen is. There's no real scientific um, uh, coordination about this, but that's okay. What, you know, some people say this is a probable adaptogen. Some people say, well, this is an adaptogen if they have a looser definition. The tight definition would say that it has to affect the HPA axis. And so that stands for hypothalamus, pituitary, adrenal, HPA, hypothalamus, pituitary, adrenal. And that is the axis or the connection in, in the body where stress hormones or the stress, um, oh my gosh, I'm blanking, the, the stress effect, the stress response, that's it. The stress response happens. So you get, you have sensory nerves, they sense what's going on and they will tell your brain something is bad. Now you don't have to have it go through your frontal lobe. So what that means is you don't have to consciously be aware of it. So you can have a sensory experience that doesn't really um, get to the frontal lobes before it gets to the stress response system. 
So sometimes your midbrain can handle it um, directly, et cetera. So your hypothalamus will sense this from those sensory nerves and send a message to the pituitary, telling the pituitary to send a message to the adrenal glands to basically release the stress hormones. And so you have um, adre adrenaline and then you have cortisol as the, uh, there are lots and lots of hormones that the adrenals makes, but those are two that we really think of most when we think of the stress response. And in order for a plant to be classified as an adaptogen, according to some of the really uptight people, is that it has to affect the HPA axis. So it has to show a difference or some sort of effect in terms of managing or lowering that stress response, which is great, except the problem is that the only way we can figure this out is if you do the research. And there's a lot of people who would like to do research but can't do research for a number of reasons, usually funding, right? So an adaptogen is a plant also that's very, very safe. It's it that's definitionally makes it an adaptogen. It has to be safe enough to take every single day for the rest of your life. And so some people have this idea that you might take too many adaptogens. And so um, I, I know Greg has talked about this idea of can you have too much salad? I don't think you can have too much salad really. You can't really have too many adaptogens because by definition they are safe. And so they do a lot of things. That's another part of that definition is there's a wide range of effects. And so they may help with protecting brain function. We call that neuroprotective. Um, they help protect the heart function or the liver functioning. So that's cardioprotective, hepatoprotective. They reduce fatigue. They reduce depression. They reduce anxiety. They um, help with, uh, you know, the basically the functioning of all almost all of your major organs. And some adaptogens seem to be a little bit better at some things than others. Um, so for example, we think about maca and you think, oh yeah, we're looking at your um, reproductive systems or your endocrine systems. When maca does far more than that, but yeah, it is particularly good at that. Uh, rhodiola we might look at as, oh, that's definitely helpful for energy or for an antidepressant, et cetera. So the, the thing here is that they help you with stress. So stress will affect your body and your mind. It makes it so that it's harder to function, which is makes sense because if you have a stress, then you have to take care of it, right? That's the idea. And so your body actually is perfectly well-made to manage daily acute stressors. Your body is good at that. You, you have everything you need to major... To, to manage acute stressors. Acute meaning it's uh, something that happens in the moment and then it goes away. But what we are not good at is managing chronic stress and that wears away at the body. And chronic stress will affect you physically. That's where adaptogens come in because they will help cushion all of the blows from chronic stress. And so chronic stress is gonna keep hitting those blows but you can think of adaptogens as getting in the way and cushioning all those blows so it doesn't affect you so much. And so you could run down a little list. Here are some of the things that might help you realize, oh, this is what I'm being affected by. Um, or maybe this is a symptom of stress. So things like you're quick to anger or you're crying unnecessarily, you're fatigued, you're exhausted, you have energy loss inflammation, aches and pains. Um, maybe you can't stop fidgeting or you're really tense and wound up. Headaches, trouble sleeping, your eating might be dysregulated, either too much or too little, or you can't control what you're eating as well. You're easily confused. It feels like maybe you have brain frog, frog, brain frog. Yes, that's a thing. Trouble breathing, maybe a tight chest, high blood pressure, you're always irritable. Um, you might feel like it's you're unable to keep your, your normal discipline schedule. Those sorts of things are often a sign of stress. They could be a sign of something else, but stress could result in many of those things. And you can see how your body is suffering from this, this, these impacts. It's hard on your heart, hard on your liver, hard on your guts to be stressed. And so 
though your body's designed to deal with acute stressors, the chronic stressors really are tough. And so we need things like adaptogens to help us so that we can manage to fix the stressors. You want to fix the problems that are creating long-term stress instead of just suffering. So that's like one of my big messages is let's not suffer. Let's actually fix those problems. And a lot of times people think of stress um, in a very small way. Like we think, oh yeah, I'm really stressed because mm, at work people are yelling at me or something like that. The, the stuff that they think of right away. There are a number of areas in which I think we have more stress these days than we have generally in the past in the world. And so I'm gonna list some of these areas and just give you like a couple thoughts about them. Well, first of all, there's physical stress, which makes sense. And you can think of your work capacity and you know, carrying groceries, et cetera. Um, I don't know that much has changed in terms of actual physical stress, work, work stress. It may be that we don't get as much exercise as we should, and that is stressful for the body. But the kind of mental stress we have is really something else when you think about information overload all the time. So many choices that we have to make, so much, so much information that we have to manage and manipulate. And we're doing so much comparison to other people because we have so much more uh, exposure to all kinds of alternatives. We have a lot of spiritual stress. We think about, um, Am I acceptable to others? Is what I believe acceptable? We might want worry, like, who am I? What, what am I doing here? Where am I going after this? Am I in alignment with my values? We have emotional stressors. We we have to we try to control our emotions, over control maybe. Um, we have a lack of connection to other people, and that's emotionally stressful. We have a lack of rest. We don't get enough sleep, but we also don't get enough good quality leisure time. A lot of times when we're exhausted, we go do things that actually don't help us relax. Like watching TV doesn't actually help us relax very well, uh, depending on what you're watching, right? And then of course we have environmental stress. And so what is it? what are the things that are in the food that we're eating that really shouldn't be in our food? What are we sleeping on top of um, that is uh, off gassing, whatever? Um, what are we breathing? What's what our furniture and carpet is doing, um, that fumes that we have just just getting in the car and driving to the store. What fumes are we breathing? What is in the water we're drinking? You know the light pollution outside. We're and we're not getting enough rest, not getting enough sleep, also because of that. So think about all of the ways in which we have a tremendous amount of daily stress. We need something to cushion all this daily stress. Even if we feel like we're managing our life pretty well so that we're not as stressed as maybe some other people are, it's still awfully difficult to avoid all of these stressors, particularly some of the environmental, the environmental lens that are kind of endemic to the whole country. And so how can you cushion your body from the impact of stress the answer is daily use of adaptogens, multiple kinds, as many as you want. Do what helps you feel good. Um, yeah, I think this is key for living well in the next decades is really taking advantage of, of uh, adaptogens. What we want is a comprehensive treatment without side effects and adaptogens gives you a comprehensive treatment that goes throughout the body without uh, all of those side effects that come with many pharmaceuticals. Okay, that's it. Thank you. I always write lots of notes when you're talking. Um, and I agree with you. Cinemate is a yummy treat. And sometimes I have to have two a day because it is my favorite, my favorite Same. drinks. <laughs> okay so let's see if I can change this nope I went back all right oh I'm super excited because Lisa Tucker is going to share a recipe with us and I know this is a favorite in our house so I'll let Lisa take it away hello hello thank you can you guys hear me um so 
I wanted to share this with you. This recipe was created a long time ago and we decided that sometimes it's easier to have people eat gummies than drink a vital sometimes, especially little people. So this recipe is pretty self-explanatory. You just put the water, the lemon juice, the honey, and the two packets of vital on your stove top in a uh, saucepan and you begin to heat it up over medium heat and then you sprinkle in the five tablespoons of the grass-fed gelatin and um, you can get there's all different companies you can look into that you want it to be a high quality gelatin you don't want jello you want um, to get a high quality grass-fed one just because of the dynamics of how they make those things and then you just continually stir it until everything's stirred and mixed in really well. And you just, you don't wanna boil it just because that degrades the vital in there. And then after everything's mixed really well and heated up, then the fun part comes in, you're gonna remove it and you can add in your teaspoon of the lemon extract. I just think that's a yummy addition. You could actually put any citrus extract in there. It just takes the notch up, takes the flavor up a notch. And then the fun part is you get to pick your little molds. And I wish I had some to show you, but we moved into this house that's smaller than our old house and I got rid of them all because I love Vital and I don't make the gummies very much anymore. But I know there's lots of moms out there that know you can get the molds pretty much anywhere. And they're just uh, little, you can get the gummy bears like in that picture, or you can get any kind of shapes you want for different holidays. And you just take a spoon and you just spoon this into the molds. And then we put it in the refrigerator because then they firm up really fast. <laughs> but whatever um, the kids don't eat or your family doesn't eat, you can keep in the refrigerator. But they literally come together just like a gummy bear. Or I saw somebody on there, they said the fish molds, whatever you use that is fun that your kids are going to enjoy and want to eat them. Or maybe some other picky people in your house that would enjoy them. But they're so yummy and delicious and chewy goodness. Also, I have had people after it cools off a bit, add some probiotic, just open up the pro probio right in there, mix it in really good. That's another way to get some probiotic benefits in there as well. You just don't want it too hot when you're adding the adaptogens in there as we've been talking about so they don't get degraded and burned up and things like that so that is a gummy recipe for you I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do I see somebody asking so one gummy there's two vital packets in there and for this recipe there's two vital packs so you guys let me know if you have any questions and I will talk to you later. Thank you. I actually went and bought molds a few years ago just for this recipe. And I think Corinne sent it to me because I have two picky little ones that will eat candy, but not drink vital. So I like to, I like to munch on them too. They're super yummy. So next we have... Uh, Greg Halliday, he's going to come on and talk about one of my favorite things, which is Nero IM. Um, I was super excited when this came out because I struggle a lot with headaches and brain fog. Um, I like to say knock on wood because I haven't had a headache in a really long time, but this has been life changing for me. So I'm super excited to hear from Greg and what all he's going to tell us about Nero IM. Thank you, Tiffany. Hello, everyone. It's good to be here. Personally, I want to just listen more to Allison. I can listen all day to Dr. Allison. She just has such a, oh, she just has, a, she has such everything. Let's, let's put it that way. What great information on stress and adaptogens. It is interesting over the years. So 10 years now at Soul, right? And the way that we would describe adaptogens today, it's definitely expanded. Um, and none of it, none of the principles have changed. And I just second everything she said. But we've gained so much insight in this last decade. We've learned more about them. 
And um, one thing, you know, neuro IM is, it might be one of the most chock full of adaptogens formulas we have. We, we have a lot in all of them. You know, we've got the six in vital and we've got, I think, four or five in renew and there's like four or five in soul complete. And if you really go and look at them, not all of them, you know, you sort of have this common oh, acceptance wh where certain herbs will be called adaptogens everywhere. Uh, but we, this has not been exhaustive by any way, by any uh, stretch of the imagination. We're always learning. And in neuro, there are several in, in this formula that would be called by everyone, of course, an adaptogen. And there are others that I'll bet you in five years, 10 years, you'll see them on all the same lists of the others. It's possible that the majority of those 10 mushrooms that are in NeuroIM are adaptogens. Uh, to not say all of them, I know a couple of people might, might have that opinion, but we'll say safely a, a dominant majority of them. Uh, but NeuroIM is a little different because this nutrition is, is all sourced from concentrated mushrooms. We call it a restorative a mushroom blend. It's a red label. Um, you can see the little, I love, I kind of love uh, Mr. Kendall Bird's work on the label here, because I always think, I don't know what you think of. You'll have to, if you want to chat in what the neuro IM label makes you think of. I'm talking about the little design to the right of the words neuro IM. You know that the IM stands for, of course, immunity. And these wonderful mushrooms, they're the therapeutic very well studied mushrooms that are all immune modulators. So I'm looking at some of the words here and I love them because they're all good. It's interesting. Um, neurons, connections, atoms. Uh, this is the, the picture makes you think of science and the neurons in your brain, um, firing brain synapses. Those are the little gaps between neurons, right? Blood flow, flow to my brain, Tammy says. Denise says synapses, atoms, spores, okay, molecules, awesome, Valerie, yes. Um, uh, I, all of that's right, uh, because you, you probably could think of a number of things, but this is such a great um, add-on to every program, um, a balanced herbal program, mushrooms lately, uh, the reason I mentioned that to you is lately I've been hearing, there are a couple of Zooms that are nationwide Zooms and one that's in Spanish. And in fact, last Thursday, um, not, not sorry, not last Thursday because I was in Yellowstone with my family enjoying that, that wonderful park. A week ago Thursday, um, two or three of the testimonials that were shared, the individuals had added NeuroIM to their program and had seen uh, very many differences. What kind of differences? Well, the number one ingredient is lion's mane. Now, there are good amounts of all the ingredients. We only deal in concentrated and as much as possible whole plant or whole mushroom so that we don't affect the balance that's in nature, but that we provide more of that. And so that's, that, that is the big difference than if you go and find powdered mushrooms and you can find products. A lot of them out there, in fact, my one of our daughters who... Um, uses lots of soul products. She was, I don't know why somewhere she was at a, at, a, uh, at a health food store and bought a big jar of mushrooms and about, it, it had five or six mushrooms, all of which are in neuro IM. And she just, she liked it and got, thought she'd add them. It was in scoop powder form and she could add it to a drink. But in looking at the label, they are not concentrated. Some of these are concentrated 10 times. Most of them are concentrated four or five times. Some of the mushrooms in NeuroIM are, are what we call standardized concentrates. Um, some of the, the wonderful natural components in these mushrooms have been studied for how the body can react to and solve abnormal cells. So we use that word abnormal cells because that's, that's, that has a lot, takes a lot of shapes and varieties and is part of life. And our body is amazing. It's, it's built to deal with it. As Allison said, when we get in, when we start to look at stressors, those abilities become weakened. And then you look at nutrition and what say the raw materials that the body needs to do what it does to handle these. 
Well, one of the, re the reasons I believe mushrooms and like in neuro I am work so well is because you receive this huge variety in therapeutic amounts, amounts to that where the body can say, ah, yes, okay, I have what I need to do, what's needed here. My, my general rule, and I'm not a scientist, but just looking at it from someone who uses and been around scientists, I use these wonderful mushrooms for many years, is that give, give enough of the nutrition for your body to deal with what we've got to deal with today. And then please give it a little extra. That's kind of soul's goals with all our products, enough for the day and then some. Because to me, it's the and then some that the body can then go, okay, I've got something that I can that I can actually work on fixing this with because I don't have to spend it just to handle today. I know that's a simplistic way of looking at it, but NeuroIM has that quality in spades. If you look at the book, and I'll tell you the one thing I want to share tonight about NeuroIM, I do this whenever I talk about this product, read Dr. Allison's book. That's my piece of advice. I can't say it as well as she does in the book, 10 Medicinal Mushrooms, which are about the very mushrooms that are in this formula. She doesn't comment on the formula, but she comments on the, the nutrition in these mushrooms, and she summarizes and highlights what is known I'm sure we'll be discovering much more about them in, in future years. We're, we're discovering that at soul as we share our experiences with them. And please do share. Don't be afraid to share. It makes all the difference uh, if you can send your experience to your mentor and let's get them on wonderful shows like this because I can't count how many times I've heard on Zoom shows just like this. I was on this, a friend invited me, I heard this. And the thing they talked about was what my mom deals with, or was what my sister deals with, or was what I deal with, or my husband, or my wife. And so we decided to try. And suddenly the whole education process begins and life changes. NeuroIM is definitely a life changer. I think the, part, the comment that I'll kind of end with is, if you read the book, you're probably going to see somewhere on the order of five or six of these mushrooms that have are been shown have been shown to help the body as it regenerates. In other words, rebuilds, repair. I don't know how many times similar words would be in studies showing that when there is damage or when there is, let's call impediment or imbalance, something that shifts and it's just off, and those messages don't get sent, the body doesn't work in harmony. Mushrooms and neuro IM, that is why we created the formula. Help rebuild those, give the nutrition. It isn't what fixes it, the body does, but it gives the body what it needs in levels that are just not common in a lot of the foods or hardly any of the foods. These mushrooms, one of my favorite uh, trainings was when Dr. Allison spent several slides talking about the mycelium and how nutrients get passed around and how the mushrooms themselves are the fruit and the beneficiary of that, but they have the, the benefit of having nutrients pulled in unique ways to other plants. Now that, so that's another question as to why mushrooms? Well, the nutrition comes in unique ways and in unique quantities and is really uh, such an amazing addition. So our hope with neuro is that matters that deal with balance and immunity, matters that deal with anything that is out of balance in our nervous system and the way we react to stress. Uh, and really very many other matters, <laughs> abnormal cells, et cetera. Mushrooms are a great food to put your body in a stronger position as, and also as Allison said so well, give you cushion from stressors, which then have their impact and over time um, cause those severe gaps and lapses. So neuro I am to me, a little bit daily is just a wise goal and take more of it if you've got a situation that you're trying to nourish at a, at a, at a higher level. Anyway, back to you, Tiffany. Thank you. I was at the farmer's market a couple of weeks ago and they had all these mushrooms there. So I was geeking out because I totally love this stuff. And I was telling my mom and she goes, I'm not eating that, but <laughs> not doing that. I said, but you can get it in two little capsules. And she said, add it to my order. So now she's on Nero. Oh, so <laughs> I definitely love it. 
So while we have you here, Greg, we have one more question. Can you explain the reason why soul only uses the most beneficial part of the plant? Yeah, you, you, that's a quick answer. Um, really for quality reasons, because you can find, unfortunately, with a lot of labeling laws, you just have to be truthful. And if it has that plant in it and it's in a capsule and you can go and test in a lab, make sure it doesn't have anything growing in it and it's pure, then boom, you're in business. And it can give you a tiny fraction of what that plant really has to offer. So for, it starts with, in, in terms of lab tests and quality, it starts with making sure not only that it's the correct plant, but the most beneficial plant. Now I will add our parts of the plant because sometimes it's the root, sometimes it's the leaf, it's a combination, it can be the fruit. Um, in fact, something that you'll be seeing, you'll be hearing very soon from Seoul is something new that'll be added to a formula that is a fruit. Um, and it's not what you'd expect, but having to see what, what where the different uh, components are. I'll give you one uh, example of something we do have in Solmegas. Recently, we've, we've got Solmegas back, right? Well, one of the reasons Solmegas has omega-7, not as much talked about, but super important in stress management, is because Solmegas not only has the oil, this wonderful vegetable um, plant-sourced omegas from sea buckthorn seed, which is where usually people are harvesting, but it also has it from the fruit. That omega-7 only exists in the fruit. So it is part of the quality story to make sure we have the variety we need. Dr. Allison referenced taking a large variety. That is another key, always will be of good nutrition. And the beneficial part of the plant is a big story there. I think um, I'll finally just say one last thing. Once you have the most beneficial part of the plant, then a step further is looking at concentrations, trying to get um, keep the balance that's in that that uh, beneficial part. And so, an example of the narrow I am today, um, can concentrating it and keeping that natural balance. You have options in today's world. Providers of wonderful plant therapeutics will give you seven, eight, ten options. You can get this concentrate to this amount or that amount. You can get just a raw powder. You can get a cheap raw powder. You can get a more expensive one. And so it is part of, it's in a very important part of the overall quality process and something that if we were to um, not address, uh, that there would be a much lower um, success rate in what people see. Well, thank you so much. That's interesting. I'm, I'm taking notes like crazy tonight. So we're going to shift gears a little bit away from our products and on to a little bit of information about soul business and the opportunity there. So I'm going to turn things over to Corinne and she's going to share her experience of being with soul for quite a long time. <laughs> well, thanks for having me on tonight. I I love the sole business opportunity. You know, we can talk and as you hear everybody talk about all the health benefits, I've had many of those as well, um, which is kind of what drove me to do this as a business. And um, I've always loved to travel. And I know, um, I hear it from a lot of my, my girls and my friends, oh, I don't have the time or I don't have the money. But being part of Soul has allowed me to find that happy medium. I've joined the having the time and the money um, to be able to do that. Um, the last, I don't know if people have noticed, but we've been traveling a lot. I think it's been about eight weeks that we have been from California to Indiana to just all over the place. And we have had a great time. And um, I love that I can work this business anywhere. I love that I can pick up the phone, answer a few phone calls. Um, you know, it reminds me of a story and um, this picture brings back a lot of memories. And I remember standing in the Toy Story line at Disney World um, with my kids and it was like a 45 minute wait, I think. And somebody had called and says, I don't know how to place this order. I was able to help her sign up, log on, and that caused me to prime. And I remember <laughs> texting Jordan saying, I am standing in the line at Disney World with my family that Soul basically paid for, um, and I just primed. Here I am just finding little pockets of time, you know, having that quality time with my family, but also realizing that there's a balance in everything. Um, you know, and as it says, 
it is all expenses. I mean, it, it covered our amazing Airbnb that had our own private pool to, um, we could go down and go down the water slides and go to the, the pool house and all that things, part of the, the area we stayed in. Um, our SUV, because we had a lot of us, <laughs> as you can see. Um, and we went six days to theme parks. Now, if that doesn't give you a testimony of, of um, the financial part of it, but the soul um, testimony part of it, Chris and I are almost 50. Okay, he'll correct me. I'm almost 50. He's close behind me. And we did all of those theme parks with our kids and we were running just along with them. And we were able to do this and really enjoy the quality of life and, and the many things that it's offered us. Um, and that also included our airfare round trip from Idaho Falls to Orlando. So I am so grateful for where this whole business has taken us. Um, when we first started, I never thought that it could take that. Um, I don't know. I just, it just happens so quickly. And I know people say, well, Karen, it's been 10 years. But, you know, things like this, I mean, it's just a little bit at a time and really trying to find that balance of business and, and work and, and play. And we've been able to do that with the sole business. So I love that we're able to do that. Well, thank you, Corinne. Next time I'm going to be adopted and go with you for six days to Disney. <laughs> okay, so as we wrap things up tonight, if you have thought about joining the soul business, you can join for just $25. I have no idea where in the planet you can start your own business for $25, but not just that, you're going to get $25 back on your first, um, when you get your first member, your first customer. So if you're interested in learning more, reach out to the specialist that invited you tonight and they can share with you some next steps and joining or answering any of your questions about soul. And last but not least, I want to thank you for joining us tonight. I hope you found value in this presentation. If you want to make sure that you're, you don't miss any of our other upcoming stories of hope, um, they happen every Monday night. You can text HOPE to this number, 1-866-256-1970, and you'll get a reminder so that you can hop on next week. Every week, we're learning about different products, different testimonials, and learning different things. So thank you so much for joining us.